Hi guys, it's Unique, and it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a very long time. So I thought it'd only be right if I came back and I did the get to know me tag. So I have my little panda book right here, and I got myself a little bit of a drink, you know, you know, trying to lose that weight and whatnot, drinking that lemon water. Hopefully it works, and hopefully I stick to it. I don't know if I will though. But anyways, let's get to this tag. What's your middle name? My middle name is Samar. It's spelled S-A-M-A-R, and I think it might be Arabic, but I'm not too sure. So, if you know, just comment down below and let me know if it really is Arabic. Where were you born? I was born in Jamaica, and I currently live in Canada. I came here when I was six years old, so I've been here for quite a long time. What's your favorite color? I'd say my favorite color would be yellow. My room is painted in yellow. You can only see the red wall though, but I'd say my favorite color is yellow because it's just so bright, so sunny, and it just reminds me of happiness, so yeah. And I think my secondary favorite color would be red due to, you know, that accent while being red. So what is your favorite food? I wouldn't say I have a favorite food in particular, but I do have a habit. I have a habit of liking something and then because I like it, I decide I'm going to eat it for a week straight. So I like it, then I eat it for a week straight, I get tired of it, and then I just move from thing to thing to thing constantly. That's just like what I'm known for. How tall are you? I am 5'9". I don't know why exactly I'm 5'9", because my mom's 5'10", and I just really want to be 5'10", you know, and I just... I don't understand why I'm 5'9", because, well, maybe I do. <laughs> my mom and her father are basically the only tall people in the family, so I guess I take after them, and the rest of them are pretty pretty short, so I guess I should count my, count my lucky stars, as they say. Is that what they say? I don't know that I'm 5'9", but I really want to be 5'10". Cats or dogs? I'd say dogs. I think they're so adorable. And I just think they're just like the best in the sense of friendship and companionship. I actually did get a dog this year. I got him back in, was it June? Yes, back in June. And he is currently six months old at the moment, almost seven months. And he's just the cutest little thing, but he is really, really bad. He's bad as hell, actually. He's a little bit crazy, but he's just so smart just smart so much energy all over the place i need to get him trained and i'm bringing him to the trainers on thursday to get him trained because he's just he's wild you know just wild <laughs> i named him adonis and that's a greek name I actually went and i looked for greek names and i came up with adonis and it actually means handsome and i was like yeah it's perfect because he's just a, such a handsome little dog when you look at him so it's just like perfect I'm going to name him Adonis. How many piercings do you have? I have two piercings, I'd say. I count my ears as just one. And then I have my cartilage pierced up there. This thing, I don't even think it's healed yet. I don't know. So I want other piercings, but I'm scared because this, it still hurts. And it's been six years since I last got it, so... I'm scared. Do you have any tattoos? I currently don't have any tattoos, but I really do want to get some in the future. Sometime soon, but you know, when you do that thing in your mind where you're just thinking things over and you're just not able to completely make that decision. If I do end up getting tattoos, I'd say that I'd want to get Roman numerals right here. Don't, don't mind the arm, okay? I need to go work. Lemon water can't do everything. So I want to get Roman numerals right underneath my arm there. And then I also want to get a portrait of my mother underneath the other arm because my mom's just like the most important person in my life. And I just want to do something for her to just honor her. What countries have you visited? I've only visited where I'm from because, you know, I was born there. Canada, where I live. <laughs> and then America. But... That was like when I was like younger. I went to New York 
and then the rest is just like layovers for flights going to other places and whatnot to Jamaica so that's about it I really do want to travel and go to different places I want to go to Dubai I want to go to Fiji I want to go to the different Caribbean islands and see what those are like and compare them to where I'm from and the, you know the differences because there are differences in the Caribbean islands and whatnot so that's what I'd like to do I would like to travel in the future are you or have you been to college I have been to college or university so I went to university and I was in their nursing program I graduated a while ago I'm gonna say the date I'm just gonna give away my age a little bit there you know <laughs> but I graduated in 2014 and in case you're wondering I'm 25 years old favorite slash worst subject my favorite subject in high school was definitely science and I think that's why I'm I went towards nursing because that was my favorite subject and I was pretty pretty good at it my <laughs> my worst subject though was math I couldn't get that for the life of me even now if I were to do it now I'd fail it I don't get it it, it just it doesn't click it doesn't click in my mind at all what is your favorite drink well lately I've been drinking a lot of ass tea I shouldn't say that I'm on a diet but ugh, I like iced tea <laughs> and I like coke but right now I'm drinking lemon water a lot because you know the whole weight thing and whatnot so yeah <laughs> favorite animal I'd have to say a dog is my favorite animal because I do have a pet dog what talent do you wish you had I really wish I really wish I could sing if I could sing boy I honestly think I'd be famous. I'd, I'd make myself famous. I'd just push myself into the industry and be like, this is where I belong, okay? Okay? So I really wish I could sing. Apart from that, I really wish I could draw. I think if I really practiced really hard, I would be able to draw better or good, you know, like, you know, like real artists, but mm, I have enough patience for all of that. So. What is your zodiac sign? So like I said before, my birthday is October the 6th, so I am a Libra. And I see that with the characteristics for a Libra in me all the time. Literally, like, it really does describe my personality perfectly. Except for being social. I'm not, I'm not social, but I can be. I can talk and, you know play up to people and all of that if I really pushed myself but I'm a shy person that's the only thing that's that's a little bit off about that uh, zodiac sign but everything else is right on spot on do you have any fears hmm I do have fears but I don't know I'd say one fear would be heights like if I were to go up in somewhere high I'd be scared and I wouldn't want to look down at all another fear would be Toads, frogs, rats, mice. Don't like them. I will run away. I get the heebie-jeebies. I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm just like, no, 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 no. Who are your favorite YouTubers? I'd say lately I've been watching Glamazon Tay, Glamaholic, uh, Jayla Corian. Um, who else do I watch? I watch the Army Barbie. I love her vlogs, and. Yeah, I'm just trying to follow, you know, her her journey into plastic surgery, you know. Who else do I watch? I watch uh quite a few people, quite a few vlogs, I'd say. I'm trying to find like little smaller YouTubers and see how they progress and how they grow. And it's really nice to watch those smaller YouTubers progress and grow and grow. Do you have any allergies? Honestly, I do. I am allergic to mosquitoes. Now this thing has ruined my life, hasn't ruined my life, but it has made my life kind of a difficult in a sense or made me have an insecurity because since I am allergic to mosquitoes, when they do bite me, you know, or a lot bite me, I'd say that, I don't know, it does something to my body. I actually researched it and it's something called Skeeter Syndrome. So basically when you mosquito bites you, you 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 get welts and whatnot and they're just very 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 itchy and i feel like when one bites me or a couple bite me it just spreads throughout my whole body something and they just pop up in places where i never even got bitten in the first place so 
that has left me with like a lot of like scars on my skin like dark marks on my skin so they're on my legs they're on my arms and it just makes me really insecure in a way so I don't wear pants I don't wear shorts I'm always wearing pants or leggings so and I hope to like use some kind of cream or something to lighten them out or something so next summer <laughs> I can actually wear shorts do you have a celebrity crush no <laughs> I've never been the type of person to have a crush on a celebrity if you do it's straight whatever it's good but I just never had a crush on a celebrity. I could just never make that connection to where I'm like infatuated or I want to, you know, with a celebrity. One thing you wish you knew as a kid. One thing I wish I knew as a kid was not to focus on people and what they thought so much. And if I didn't, I feel like I would have had a happier childhood and I would be more outgoing today, you know? That's one thing I, I wish I knew as a kid, that those people or whoever, they don't matter. They really do not matter at all. The last movie slash show I've watched, I haven't been watching movies, but I've been watching shows on Netflix. Let me, let me tell you what I've been watching. I've been watching some gory type stuff, you know? I've been watching American Horror Story. That wasn't on Netflix, I found that on the internet. And it's decent mm, mm, I don't really like like the newer ones but it's decent I've been watching slasher it's so so good it just left me wondering who the killer was the whole time it's like a murder mystery type thing literally and I, I couldn't figure it out until the last episode and I was just like oh oh that's a twist okay that's a twist right there and then what else have I watched I watched stranger things the second season I like the first season better. Second wasn't too bad, but at the end it was just like so. I don't know. I hope I'm not spoiling it for you guys, but I was just like, is she ever gonna really kill this thing? Or because I this is like what the second time she has tried to kill it or killed it. And um, what else have I watched? I think that's about all I've actually really watched. But they've been good and they've occupied my time quite well. So. What is your most commonly used swear word? I'd have to say the F word. I can't stop saying it. I'm trying to stop saying it. I'm praying to God. I'm saying, Lord, please help me to stop saying this word. You know, but I don't know. I just, it just comes out and I'm going to stop though. I'm going to stop swearing because I really don't like the way it sounds. I want to be nice and ladylike and not swear, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to stop saying the F word. Okay. I promise. What's an item you won't leave at home? I'd have to say my phone, and it's not just because I'm addicted to my phone and I always want to be texting or anything. I think it's more like a security, like if anything were to happen, if I were to get stuck on the road or anything, or if something happened to my mom, they'd be able to contact me and I'd be able to contact whoever. Just a security reason. My biggest regret, I say my biggest regret thus far is not letting go of people and situations that need to be let go of. It has been so, so hard for me, I say especially within the past two years, to let go of people and situations that are not good for me, and not good for my spirit, not good for my well-being. And as time goes by, I'm learning to let go. Honestly, I'm still on the journey of it learning to let go, learning to let things be, learning to have faith, basically. So that's my biggest regret, not knowing to, when to let go of things that are not destined for you and not destined for your life or my life, right? So that's about it. That's the end of my uh, get to know me tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope I wasn't too crazy. I don't know. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys come back. If you guys have any video suggestions for me that you'd like me to do, just comment down below and I will make sure that I will do them. I have also moved locations. I've moved houses or whatever. So if you guys would like a room tour of my room, I will do that for you guys no problem at all so thank you guys so so much for watching i really really do appreciate you guys taking the time to spend a little bit of your time with me and i hope to see you guys soon bye <laughs>